musical opened at the Mineta Lane Theater. It starred a very young cast of complete unknowns, including Nancy Opal, wow. D. Cody, wow. and Jason Alexander. Wow. No way! Wow. Just to name a few. Check out those pants. <laughs> uh, the show was about dating in New York. It was a review with music contributed by six writers and all book and lyrics written by three poor, scrappy, young New York theater writers in their late 20s. Uh, the show was personal. And the writers were David Crane, Seth Friedman, and Marta Kaufman. And a decade later, do you know what they wrote? This is Fred. Too smart for us, but yes, they wrote it. I want to do the bit with the clapping in the situation, but no, not like clapping applause, like the clapping in the. Good work. Yeah, thanks, Katie. Uh, the cast, uh, they, they won the truckloads of praise for their performances. Critic David Kaufman wrote, The six-member cast is full of the sort of boundless energy and optimism missing on most musical stages. The Villager said that the cast was all gifted, crafted singers and actors, beautifully in tune with each other and the material. And Variety and the Daily News also loved the show, which included songs like Moving In With Linda, where Sam instructs his movers where to put all of his baggage, i.e. old flames, um, as he moves in with his new lady friend. And I could always go to you, where two straight girlfriends decide it'll just be easier to les out. <laughs> not how I wrote that line. It's not as you wrote it. Um, here's a fun game. Oh my god, so nerdy. Um, here's a fun game. Uh, listen to the following quotes and tell me whether you think the journalists are describing personals or friends. <laughs> Among its many other assets, it gets at the unique delight of living in New York City. It's a show about adults, and there are too damn few such shows around. Six pleasant characters, any one of whom one might easily recognize, walking about the streets of the city any day of the week. All three of those quotes were talking about personals. Critics writing about personals. That was a trick. Um, <laughs> well, it's a lesson because it just shows, it just goes to show you that you never know uh, what small musical opening off Broadway today will later evolve into a multi-million dollar television franchise. It's <laughs> true. That's the personals also included songs, but... <laughs> If you're watching this on YouTube, say hi. Come be in my cast. Seriously, please. <laughs> okay, let's do the script. Now we're switching roles. Now I'm being Mr. Taskmaster. She has a touch of the comedy. Uh, personals also included songs by Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz, as well as a man named William Dreskin. William Dreskin. William Dreskin who wrote the song featured in our concert tonight. Our very own musical director, uh, Caleb, pointed out that there's an episode of Friends where Monica screams at Rachel, remember back in freshman year? Well, Billy Draskin and I had sex in your bed. What? That's a little in-joke right there, folks. <laughs> Shout out to our little, their little friend, William Draskin. Um, personals, oh, this is cheating. That's a Marilyn roll on for her so shy. I'm sorry. He's so cute. Um, so, personals, was not a big enough success off Broadway to get a cast recording, but a 1998 London revival did well and revealed in a recording. Uh, in fact, I have never ever been able to find a bootleg of the off Broadway Jason Alexander and Nancy Opal edition. Um, and he leaves, find me after the concert. Um, <laughs> but uh, in the off Broadway production of Personals, Jason Alexander actually originated this next song, and here to sing after school special is AJ Shy. <laughs> Coming 1048, he stood in the hall, and at 1049, 
and a voice deep inside me said, Chucky, you might get lucky and get no response at all. And I answered every letter. 